go back. Level three in adulthood. And then women get it before men. Anybody have an idea why? Children. Women get it before men because, and I'll use my wife as a great example. First night our child came home from the hospital, our first child, she comes back to bed and I said, is everything okay? And she said, didn't you hear him crying? I said, no, I was back at level one. <laughs> but men, we get it eventually. Level three is about others. It's about caring for others. And the, one, the reason I love working in academia is because most everybody is here for others. It's powerful. It's what makes us great. We care about each other. We care about the other person. How about growing people? Around the age of 50, we begin to understand uh, the concept of legacy. What difference is this world going to be because I lived? How is it going to be a better place? People that live at level four, live at level four, understanding that they're doing it for, to create a better tomorrow. Those of you in research have a faith that what you're doing is the right thing to do. And who knows what that's going to create, but you have a faith that the difference you're going to be making. Those of you that operate, those of you that recommend care, you have a faith that what you're doing is going to create a better tomorrow. You, you just hope that this person is going to be better off because they came to see you in the long run. And you may never see them again, but you have a faith that it's the right thing to do. The challenge is, is that one of these dominates us under pressure. And which, where do we revert under pressure? Do we go drinking? Do we get mad and start yelling? Do we offer to help? Or do we ensure we do the right thing for the long term, under pressure? All of us revert to one of these under pressure. <clears throat> and let me share with you, it doesn't mean it has to be at level one or level two. It, it is not that fundamental. As Albert Pike said, what we've done for ourselves alone dies with us. What we've done for others in the world remains and is immortal. 